Did you know that MSI made SSDs? Well, they do, and this one is surprisingly good. It keeps up with my current favourite Gen 4 SSD, the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus, and actually costs a hair less. Seriously, this is MSI's Spacium M480 SSD. I have the 1TB model here, although you can get it in a 2TB flavour if you'd rather. And it boasts some impressive stats too. 7 gigabytes per second in reads, 5.5 gigabytes per second in writes, and a 700 terabyte written endurance rating, all for around £10 less than the Rocket. It uses the same Fizen E18 controller, alongside an SK Hynix DRAM cache, and four 256GB 3D TLC NAND chips, at least on this 1TB model. That means that this drive is single-sided, although if you do opt for their uh, sort of chungus heatsink, it'll still mount and cool the, the back anyway, because I guess, why not? If you're after a motherboard for the drive, you might want to check out this video's sponsor, ASRock, and their X570S PG Riptide. This is a fanless chipset heatsink, which is great. You, of course, get two of their Hyper M.2 slots if you want to run dual uh, Gen 4 drives. Uh, it also features reinforced steel PCIe slots for your GPU, their Lightning gaming ports and killer E3100 G 2.5 gig LAN, 10 phase Doctomos per design, and their graphics card holder included free in the box. Check it out, the link in the description below. Speaking of the heatsink, this is an optional accessory, and uh, if your motherboard already has a heatsink solution of its own, which if your board supports PCI Gen 4, it almost certainly does, you don't need this thing. Save the cash. So I am happy to report that using the heatsink, the drive peaked at just 62 degrees Celsius after almost a full terabyte of constant writes. Not that these drives actually need all that much cooling anyway, it's only really the controller that needs cooled, but a motherboard solution will work perfectly fine here. You don't need the chungus bit of metal strapped to a, an otherwise relatively cool drive anyway. As for performance, in Crystal Disk Mark, it blasts well past its quoted 7 gigabytes per second reads and 5.5 gigabytes per second writes, uh, closing on 7.4 gig on reads and 6 gigabytes per second on writes, at least on a, a fresh drive. That is incredible performance, and it's actually a hair faster than the Rocket 4 Plus, at least in reads. It is down almost a gigabyte per second on writes though, although that's not a big deal in reality. With a queue depth of 1, reading and writing sequentially, the M480 absolutely storms the field with nearly 60 gigabytes per second in writes and 4.4 gigabytes per second in reads, up from 3.5 gigabytes per second on both uh, for both on the rocket. Even in the, the random 4K writes, the M480 pulls ahead ever so slightly. In AS SSD, the rocket performs a little better overall, especially in the 4K 64 thread test. Very similar standard 4K random reads and writes though, which is pretty decent. As for ATTO, well, the read performance is functionally identical. Seriously, it may as well be the same drive. Where they differ is in the write performance, where the Rocket has a good 500 megabytes per second more than the, the M480 at anything above about 128 kilobyte block size. I should make it clear though that the Rocket 4 Plus I have is the 2TB model, which thanks to having more addressable space, is ge generally performs a bit better than a 1TB model, and I'm sure that the M480 2TB will likely perform very similarly, if not better. Finally, in my more real-world file transfer test, where I'm basically duplicating a, a large file set on the drive itself, which stresses both reads and writes simultaneously, uh, I can then repeat that test for as many times as I like to see how the drive, how long the drive takes to throttle, or how uh, hot the drive gets, and also just how uh, sort of how quick it gets to fill up the cache. And I'm happy to say that for the M480, it did a great job. It sat at around two gigabytes per second for the first 180 gigabytes of data, 
which is 500 megabytes per second higher than the two terabyte Rocket 4 Plus. That's no main feat. Now it does end up throttling after around 180 gigabytes or so of data, but it only drops down to around 900 megabytes per second, which is still higher than I've seen on most devices or most drives at their best. Especially considering that this was a bit of a stress test, I'm fairly confident to say that this drive will work just fine for everyday use, like installing games or, well, really anything else that would be hitting writes hard, or especially if you're just reading from it, it's all good. On top of the performance, the fact that this is one of the cheaper PCI Gen 4x4 drives on the market honestly makes it a pretty compelling choice. I wouldn't bother with the insanely large heatsink, you genuinely don't need it, but the drive itself actually gets a pretty solid recommendation from me. While there are still some limitations in needing a, a Gen 4 drive outright, if you do want one of the fastest drives on the market, especially if you want uh, the sort of best uh, direct storage experience when that eventually actually makes it into the real world, then this could be a very good option for you. And like I said, the pricing makes it pretty hard to, well, at least ignore. With that said, those are my thoughts, but I would love to hear yours in the comments down below. Is the M480 a drive you'd pick up yourself, or would you go with something like the Rocket 4 Plus instead, or maybe something from one of the other brands like WD or Samsung? Feel free to let me know in those comments down below. Otherwise, if you want to see more videos from me, you can hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon. If you want to check out the M480, I'm going to leave a global Amazon affiliate link in the description down below for you to take a look at. And there's also plenty of other links in the description if you want to support the channel in various ways. You can do so through YouTube itself and become a YouTube member or just become a patron on Patreon instead. Maybe you pick up a hoodie or t-shirt like this one or just a load of other stuff. There's some affiliate links to places like Overclock UK if you're buying from there. So there's lots of stuff, feel free to take a look. Otherwise, that's kind of it. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next video.